Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Pursuit. Winter is upon us and I've got four baits that are gonna help you catch more fish when the temperature drops. Stay tuned. Guys, I know it's cold outside. I know it's miserable. Some days you don't want to get out of bed and go out fishing, but this is the perfect time to get out. If you're like me and you love fishing, you're going to do whatever it takes to get out there. Why I say it's perfect? Well, everybody's staying indoors. Everybody's inside cozy and everybody's put away their gear. So you've got the whole bank to yourself. And I've got four baits that are going to help you catch more fish when the temperature drops. Let's start off with reaction baits. My first bait that I'm going to present is a crankbait. More in particular, I'm going to speed crank this puppy to the bank. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? Temperature drops, you need to slow it down, you need to get finessey. That's not necessarily the case. Fish during this time love a crankbait, especially if you speed crank it to the bank. Now, I am particular about what crankbaits I throw when the weather gets cold. I like crankbaits that have a tighter wobble as they go through the water. You want a little bit of subtlety, uh, not so much of a noisy crankbait, but you want something that's subtle and it's got a tight wobble. Now, I am particular about my crankbaits and I've fallen in love with the Berkeley Fritz side in the five, seven, and nine. So the five is a shallow uh, crankbait and you go with the uh, nine, is, which is a deep crankbait now, and the seven is a, in, somewhere in between. But these are very good baits to use when the water gets cold. Now, if I want to fish deeper waters, I will go with the River to Sea Tactical DD in the 75. Uh, this is a great bait to use during this time when the water gets cold. This also has a subtlety to it where it's got a tidal wobble as it goes through the water. Great bait to use during this time, guys. As far as the gear that I use to throw my crankbaits on, I throw them on a medium moderate rod. This is a 7.2 Guggen rod uh, paired up with a Shimano Corrado MGL. Perfect setup right here. I've got a 12 pound fluorocarbon line and this works great with any uh, crankbait, especially the lighter ones to a much heavier one. So this is a great setup for you guys. Keeping with reaction, my second bait is a jerk bait. You can fish this from early fall all the way to late winter and it will catch you fish. Everybody loves a jerk bait during this time. But how I fish it right now is a lot different how I fished it in early fall. I'm a little bit deliberate on my pauses in between rod twitches, right? So I'll cast it out and I'll twitch it a couple of times and pause it, let it rest, let it float, let it suspend in the water column. Twitch it three more times, pause, let it suspend out there. And what happens is when that a bait is suspended in the water column, that's when the fish goes up and it grabs it. And I've caught a lot of fish that way, but I have to be patient about this, right? I have to be patient that I'm not uh, fast twitching it and bringing it into the bank. I need to make sure that I have my very deliberate twitches, kind of slow it down and then pause it. Let it suspend, you know, twitch it a few more times and let it suspend. That's when the fish is going to attack it. Very good bait to use right now, guys. As far as the jerk bait and the gear that I use, I like the Lucky Craft Slender Pointer jerk bait. Uh, that's a suspending jerk bait in the 113 size, or if I want to go smaller, I'll go to the 97. Uh, it's a, a three treble hook jerk, jerk bait, so it works great. Uh, I throw it on a seven foot medium fast action rod with paired up with a 13 fishing concept c2 reel on 12 pound fluorocarbon this combinate combo here works great for me and it catches a lot of fish for me okay now getting away from reaction and slowing it down a bit my third bait of choice is a finesse jig i love throwing a finesse jig during this time finesse jigs or all jigs are my confidence baits and i just absolutely love throwing a bait now Throwing a finesse jig during this time means you need to slow it down, right? Pitch it out there and just slow drag it towards you. Just lift that rod tip and reel in the slag. 
lift that rod tip reel in the side. Make sure you want to feel every single bump as you slowly drag it towards you, right? Any variation in pressure of the rod tip or fluctuation means you probably have a fish because during this time, the fish won't thump on it. You won't feel that bite like you do in early spring, summer fishing, right? It's more of a, you feel like you got it cut up or snagged up in something. You know, it's something that almost like you're dragging something at the bottom of the water. And what you do, whenever you feel that, you just want to lean into it and set the hook and bring that fish home, right? So a finesse jig is really good during this time, guys. My fourth and final bait, and if you want to get the monkey off your back when you're not catching any fish, are micro swim baits. I've got the guppy head here in the 1 8 ounce by Dirty Jigs, and I also have an underspin that I love throwing in the 1 8 ounce also by Dirty Jigs. Now I pair them up with a Kitek paddle tail in a 3.8 for both of them, and this combo right here works great, guys. Now how I fish it is, I'll cast it out, and I'll let it drop to the bottom and I'll slow drag it towards me, right? I'll slowly reel it in, don't get impatient. You know, you have to be very deliberate how you fish this, this bait, especially during the winter, right? You wanna cast it out, let it drop to the bottom and then slowly drag it towards you, right? You wanna feel the bottom as it comes along and get ready to catch some fish. This works, guys. Now, this works especially for smallmouth. I've caught a lot of smallmouth with this combo right here. As far as the gear that I throw it in, I've already talked about the, the swim bait heads that I use, but as far as the gear, now you can throw this with spinning gear, that's no problem. Just make sure it's light gear and you're using light fishing line. But what I really like throwing this in, it's hella fun, is my BFS setup. Now, I've got the Dobbins Sierra series. Uh, it's called, I think it's the Ultra Finesse Casting Rod. This is a zero power rod so anything you hook onto feels like a four pounder um, now i've got it paired up with my shimano Corrado bfs reel great setup i've got 20 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon leader great setup guys anything you catch on this setup feels like a mega bass like a five pound bass so this is a lot of fun and i do recommend you guys try out bfs setups that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button. That helps me bring more content to you. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. If you have any recommendation for baits during this, uh, when the weather gets cold, man, put them in there and the community will appreciate that, guys. Hey, from my family to yours, have a very happy new year and we'll see you next time.